God, this film is noteworthy. <laughs> chose the song around the world by Daft Punk because this is a story about a man who takes an adventure that takes him around the world. The Secret Life of the American Teenager? Oh, uh, The Secret Life of Walter Mitty. Wait, who? Now, uh, this movie, The Secret Life of Walter Mitty, is about uh, Ben Stiller. Uh, he plays the character, uh, that the name is, or the namesake of the movie pretty much, uh, Walter Mitty. And he kind of has, like, all this, uh, you know, kind of a boring life. Uh, there's nothing, like, really huge that goes on in his life. He's never been anywhere noteworthy, never really done anything noteworthy. And he just kind of has, like, this boring, mundane, kind of daily grind type of life. Um, but every once in a while, he kind of zones out and imagines all these dreams of greatness that he has. And sooner or later, he goes out toward the, later in the movie, to actually try and find someone. Uh, Sean O'Connell, I think the guy's name is. He's going to try to find him. It's a friend of his. But Sean O'Connell does all these dangerous stunts and things. And he has to kind of, Walter has to go on this adventure outside of his comfort zone to kind of find this guy. And through this, these dreams of greatness start to make themselves real in his life. And that's, that's a really cool concept. I mean, I like how throughout the movie he kind of zones out. And that's when all these things of greatness come out. Uh, and he imagines them like that. Because, I mean, if we look at Walter Mitty... And him zooming out and seeing all these great things he does. I mean, it kind of reminds us of ourselves. Um, how we, I think we all, I know I do personally, have dreams of being great and dreams of doing things that, you know, others can't do or are scared to do. And we kind of see ourselves as heroes and in, we intervene in danger and we, we stand up to danger and say hey, screw you, you're danger, I'm not scared of you, kind of thing. But, uh, you know, in real life, a lot of us are shy and, and kind of, you know, boring or mundane like Walter is throughout most of the, uh, through the first half of the movie. Um, before he goes on the adventure, we kind of, I mean, we may not know it or we may not think so, but a lot of us kind of don't really step out into or out of our comfort zone into, you know, what we're unfamiliar with and embark on these journeys, but we all do, in our mind, kind of create these stories of us doing the things that we w usually wouldn't do because we're either scared or we're unable to do it or whatever. And I like how, you know, I can see myself in Walter Mitty, and, I mean, that was really cool, uh, just him zooming out and kind of seeing all these amazing That's things that he could be hours. doing. And, uh, you know, I thought that was a really cool part of the movie. I like that a lot. You know when you see a movie and you think, okay, this girl's in it, she's not really that hot. And then you see the movie and she's like, wow, in this movie she was that hot. That happened for me in this movie with uh, Kristen Wiig. So a picture right here. In this movie, I think she was that hot. And I'm sure if you saw this movie, you would agree. You'd walk into the movie, see the shot of Kristen Wiig, and be like, wow, she's that hot. So, wrap up about the movie. Uh, it was a good movie. Kristen Wiig looked real good in it. Ben Stiller did an awesome job. Very funny. Uh, there's other characters in this movie. They just find hilarious. Um... <clears throat> Especially Todd from the Harmony. Make sure you take notice to all the cool stuff and funny things that he does throughout this movie. Uh, he's a very funny character. Um, there's a scene where Ben Stiller rides a longboard. That's just a cool scene in itself. 
I used it for the opening picture uh, for this actual video. Um, if you can't go see the movie, check out all the cool scenes online. They'll probably have some of those. Um, you might even understand the opening, uh, the opening clip where I say, uh, this movie was wor noteworthy. Um, there's, that comes from part of the movie that I thought was, uh, kind of funny, so I threw that in there. Boom. Um, also, uh, there's a cool scene. I'm going to be using a line from there at the ending. Uh, I'm going to point it down here. The ending is down there somewhere, I guess. Is what I'm trying to imply. I guess it's like a film line or something. I don't know. I'm just saying at the ending, maybe it's that way. At the ending, there's, I'm going to use a, another line from the movie. Uh, make sure you look for those. Um, in the movie, I mean, uh, you should definitely go see it if you can't. Uh, you can watch the scenes on YouTube, or you can go and, uh, you know, purchase it when it comes out, or Redbox, or whatever. Um, but make sure you see this movie, whether it's in the theaters, or at home, or online, or whatever. Um, thanks for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, remember to like, favorite, and subscribe. Thanks for watching another episode of Top 5. I will see you next time I see a movie. I have to call you back. I'm on my way to a volcano.